everyone and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm going to be ending an incredible three weeks in Europe by flying on KLM's 777-300ER from Amsterdam back across the Atlantic to Atlanta. But before I actually do that, I'm here in Lisbon so I have to catch this KLM Boeing 737-800 up to Amsterdam. The 737 is one of my most flown planes, so this is really nothing new for me, but this 737 features KLM's newer interior, which has comfortable leather seats, adjustable headrests, and this pretty blue mood lighting. Overall, this first flight was nothing all that special or out of the ordinary, and as I would be awake pretty much for the next 24 hours, I decided to get some sleep while I had the chance. But before long, we made our approach and landing into Amsterdam Schiphol. After a mad dash through Amsterdam Airport, we made it to the International Terminal just in time to see our 777-300ER PHBVW loading up for our flight. This was one of the newest aircraft in KLM's fleet at the time, being delivered in 2021, just over a year ago at the time of recording. Before long though, it was time to get on board. My seat for today features a nice modern IFE screen, a USB power outlet and headphone jack, a nice tray table with this cool blue trim, seat back pocket with a safety card, an air sickness bag, a pillow and blanket, very nice seat adjust, and this awesome adjustable headrest which was super comfortable. Unfortunately though, due to some baggage issues, we would end up sitting on the ground for about 45 minutes. Although, that being said, our bags actually never ended up making it on board the aircraft today. But after some waiting, we finally began our pushback and taxi out to the runway.
flight, I decided to check out the IFE screen for today. It features a number of movies. TV. I decided to sit back, relax, and watch Jurassic World. About an hour into the flight, the first meal was served. It consisted of a curry chicken with rice, a salad, and a loaf of bread. For economy food, it was quite good. And as we flew over Iceland, the clouds finally cleared, giving an awesome view of the Icelandic mountains. After that, I decided to check out the bathroom, which features a pretty simple sink and hand soap, a trash can, toilet, a baby changing table, this very cool full body mirror. A simple locking mechanism that turns off the lights when unlocked. And a coat hook. Overall, a pretty basic economy bathroom, nothing too special. A few hours later, the clouds finally cleared, giving this incredible view of the Appalachian Mountains over the northern United States. Around this time, we also received our second meal of the flight, which was pizza bread, and it was pretty good, but I unfortunately forgot to record it. And now, after an incredible flight, it's time to begin our initial descent into Atlanta. Unfortunately, soon after that, we were put in a holding pattern for about 45 minutes due to weather on the ground in Atlanta, which delayed us significantly, but also delayed our connecting flight. And now, as sunset approaches, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy one of the most incredible approaches I have ever been on.
Welcome to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. We have a very tight connection for today and we still have to get through customs, so I will see you guys in a minute. After a mad dash through ATL Airport, we finally made it on our connection flight and just barely, they were about to close the doors, but here we are. I have hardly any footage from onboard this Delta Airbus A319 down to Lexington, and I apologize about that, but after traveling halfway across the world, I was half asleep this whole time. But nonetheless, here we are, back at Lexington Bluegrass Airport, right where we started. If you guys enjoyed this trip report and would like to see more like it, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.